Okay, everybody, as promised, I'm going to make a video of this problem. It is the last problem on our test review, slide 16. Um, there are several practices as well in illustrative math that have the same um, kind of format. And if you do any of the practices on that assistments that I gave you, um, that will also help. So there's several um, equations of a circle where you have to find the center and the radius. So practice with this because it will be on the test and um, you need to know how to do it. So this is part of what our unit is. Okay, so as we've been saying and as we've been knowing that the equation of a circle, the equation of a circle is gonna be x minus h to the second power plus y minus k to the second power is equal to the radius to the second power. And h and k, h and k are just the center of the circle. They're the center. Okay, so it's it's basically x minus x, y minus y. It's exactly what you do when you find the distance between two points. H and K are just special because it's the center. So it's really x and y, but we call it H and K because they're special. So um, when we're writing it like this, this is a this is the formula that we like, right? We like it in this form, but what we have here is not in this form. We actually this is the factored. Um, version of a quadratic. So when I look at these two problems in here, and I'm just going to use my color coding here, I circle and I see I'm only got two of my three. Remember there needs to be three parts. X squared, something X, and then something squared. I'm missing the something squared. So there's the one, and then I have another side of my equation that's missing the other part. See that? So I have y squared minus 10y, but I'm missing the something squared. Then I have this random negative 30, this random negative 30 that I'm going to have to move to this side of the equation. Now remember, the basic foundations of equations is like, I need to make a zero pair. I need to add 30 to both sides. That will get this number out and move it to the other side. So I have a positive 30. And I know I'm going to eventually have to add it onto the other side. So I made my zero pair. So I don't want to forget about this 30. He's important. He's going to come in later in the play. I just have to figure out what the other two numbers are that will go with that 30 that will add up to my radius. All right. So here we go. Let's start with the first one. All right. So I have x squared. I have a positive 6x. And I'm missing this number. Okay, and I have all of this in our notes here. We kind of worked this out, talked it out. All right, so I know that this is going to be a square number, and I know 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is going to be 3x plus 3x. That's how I got the 6x. So that means this has to be 9. So now I know that this is going to be x plus 3 squared. So I just found my first part of my quadratic, of my um, equation of a circle. But notice it's not in minus form. It's not in minus form. That means this point is negative 3. So I, I'm, if I'm keeping track, my center is going to be negative 3, comma. I'm trying, and now i got to find the y. So this is the x. All right, now let's try, to, let's try to move over here and find the y. Okay, so we have y squared minus 10 at 10y plus something. Remember that it's always going to be plus because anything squared, whether it's negative or positive, will always be positive. So what plus what equals 10? Well, it's a negative, negative 5. So negative 5y minus a negative 5y or a negative 5 plus a negative 5 is going to be 10. So there's my negative 10 and 5 squared is 25. Okay, so now I have this number and I also know that this is y minus 5 squared. And that's good. See, it's in subtraction form. See that? Subtraction, subtraction. We like that. The only reason we made this negative is because this is a positive, and we need it to be a negative. So this is really x minus negative 3. That's what it really is. So that's how I know that that point is a negative 3. Now, this point is just 5. All right, so there's my center. Done. Yay. Okay, I found the center. I, I have half the problem. Now I just need to get the radius. Okay, so I know my radius is going to be these numbers 
plus this extra 30. So I have that negative 30, so I'm adding 30, I'm adding 25, and I'm adding 9 to see what is actually on this side. Because whatever is on this side is going to be equal to whatever is on this side. All right, so let's add them up. I have a 9, a 25, and a 30. I've got a 9, a 25, and a 30. 9 plus 25 plus 30. All of these equal the radius. Just remember that it's radius squared, right? The formula is r squared. Okay, so if I add all these up, I get 64. Radius is not 64. It's the square root of 64. So now I have my equation. My radius is 8, which is the square root of 64. Okay, we're done. We just did it. And if we really want to, we can rewrite the whole equation in the form that we like. So I can take the extra second to just rewrite it. My equation is actually x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 8 squared. Done. So there's my equation. And if you don't want to do that, you could say x plus 3. But that's why the point is negative. We need it in subtraction form. Oh, I forgot the squared. Okay. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Pythagorean theorem. All right, guys, you'll be fine. Okay? Like I said, watch these videos. They will help. But we did also type out all of these directions in um, our test review, and I pasted all of this in the chat. So this video, slide number 16, is good. And then slide 15 and 14 are in the other video that I made. Okay?